cracking. So we have discussed what are fuels, we have classified and determined the calorific value of the fuel too. So in our classification, we have come across primary fuels and secondary fuels. In secondary fuels, we have petrol, diesel and kerosene. Petrol. Petrol is a fossil fuel. Since it is a fossil fuel, one fine day it will become extinct. So whatever petrol you are going to obtain from crude petroleum oil, it is not sufficient to meet today's energy crisis. Therefore, after obtaining or after obtaining petrol from fractional distillation column, the heavy oil left out is converted into usable form or petrol by a process known as cracking. What is cracking? Cracking is a process of converting higher molecular weight hydrocarbon into lower weight or lower molecular weight hydrocarbon. The main objectives of cracking are to convert low demand high boiling fractions into high demand low boiling fractions and it also produces raw materials to petrochemical industries. There are two types of cracking. One is fixed bed catalytic cracking. Other one is fluidized bed catalytic cracking. The fixed bed catalytic cracking had many disadvantages because the main drawback was the process need a catalyst and temperature should be 500 plus degree Celsius. The catalyst used to get deactivated due to some reason. I'll discuss that later. So once the catalyst get deactivated, the process should be stopped. The catalyst should be activated. If the catalyst should be activated, temperature should be brought down to room temperature. It may take hours together, right? Again, supposed to activate the catalyst and restart the process. Restart the process again, bring temperature to 500 and plus degree Celsius. It's a national waste. Therefore, this process was stopped once fluidized bed catalytic process came into existence. So what is this fluidized bed catalytic cracking? We'll discuss in our next discussion. Thank you. Please like and share this video and do subscribe to the Video Resource YouTube channel.